probably wondering where I am today. I'm at Kerndu House on the outskirts of Larn, and if you look behind me, you can see what a creepy ruin this place has become. It is incredibly creepy. Well, we're going to take a look inside it. Don't recommend you do it yourself, it's in a pretty bad way. <laughs> Kerndu House on the outskirts of Larn. I'm Justin McCartney and I think you'll find today that you'll experience something that's rather scary when we step inside this very old house. Kerndu House near Larn, County Antrim was built for Mr Stuart Clark at some stage after 1878. Mr Clark was a wealthy Scottish textile industrialist. He married Annie, daughter of John Smiley and sister of Sir Hugh Houston Smiley. Their daughter Edith married Sir Thomas Dixon in 1906. Kerndu comprises two stories and many gables, though its style is vaguely oriental, given that it boasts ornate open barge boards and an elaborate wooden veranda and balcony running from most of the frontage. The house was later extended in 1897-98 to the designs of Samuel P. Close. A collection of small buildings were on the site, presumably a farm, which in 1857 was called Seaview, the property of Robert Agnew. Mr Clark bought Seaview in 1878 and would appear to have rebuilt it rather than remodelled or extended it, as there is now no trace of any earlier buildings. The architect of the initial phase of Clark's buildings may have been Mr Close. Kerndu was extended by Mr Clark at various times, the last time reportedly being in 1906. When Sir Thomas and Lady Dixon purchased Kerndu in 1918, they added the servants' dining hall. By 1947, the Dixons donated the house and 162 acres of land to the Northern Ireland Hospitals Authority. Sir Thomas Dixon, second baronet, married Edith, youngest daughter of Mr Stuart Clark of Dundas Castle, South Queensbury, Scotland, and Kerndu in 1906 at Delmini Church, South Queensbury. Edith Clark was the sister of Sir John Stuart Clark, first baronet. After their marriage, the Dixons lived for varying periods at Greymount House, Hillsborough Castle, Drumnadara, Lurtlestown, and Lurkin before purchasing Lady Dixon's childhood summer residence, Kerndu. The estate increased in size to nearly 500 acres when the adjoining properties of Droke, formerly Sir Edward Coe's estate, and Cairnfunnock, William Chain's property, were purchased. The Dixon family held many house and garden parties, entertaining public dignitaries with grouse shooting in the Antrim Hills. The house was beautiful and Cairn Dew had a large workforce with 20 indoor staff, kitchen staff, ladies maids and upstairs staff. There were 22 gardeners and estate workers. Sir Thomas occupied his time with livestock farming, including a herd of dairy cows. The farm office, stables and cattle buyers were based at Hillhead Farm, now the clubhouse of Kerndu Golf Club. Mr Frank Brownlow was responsible for looking after the extensive herds of cattle and sheep at Carnfunnock, Kerndu and Hillland at Ballyboley. He travelled to auctions all over Ireland to purchase cattle for Sir Thomas and manage the farm at Kerndu. The land at Kerndu was used for grazing cattle, mainly Shorthorns and Galloway cattle, which were bred for beef. Two or three mornings per week they would inspect the cattle together and a Mr Burn will point out to Sir Thomas that neighbouring farms were for sale, such as Droke Farm, Sir Thomas would buy them and knock down hedges to have his fields extended for grazing. Sir Thomas often had a chauffeur, Sandy Moorland, drive him round the fields in his yellow and black Rolls Royce to see his cattle land stewards and head gardeners. 